live from New Delhi, India. I came here February 4th to spend some time with my sister-in-law who is um, battling a battle with uh, bone cancer, started out with breast cancer, now it has metastasized. And I am still here spending some meaningful time with her and um, it got extended one because she was not feeling well and I stayed back and then of course with COVID-19. And that is what we're here to talk about. So I'm just going to wait a few seconds more and wait for people to uh, join us. I've just sent another invite and invited through this live. So I'm just going to wait a second. I hope um, you all are having a great morning and had a great weekend. It is starting to get a little bit warmer over here. Um, I'm in... Uh, uh, we're in a lockdown. It's not even a shelter in. It's a complete lockdown. We're not able to go out or do anything at all. So there's five of us living in um, living together here. So you might hear some background noise. I'm I've tried to pick a location in the house where I get good internet connectivity and have some level of quietness. But if you hear some noises in the background, um, that is why. So I wanted to start this 30 days of inspiration, uh, uh, telling success stories and just supporting each other, a place where you can come and vent out a little bit because being in quarantine situation is certainly not easy. And I think this is the first time most of us are seeing something like this in our lifetime. We've gone through other challenges, other uh, tough times, but this is the first time we're actually locked in it's um i saw a facebook post the other day where it says that the world is under renovation and the grand opening is soon and it really does feel that way doesn't it it is for the very first time that i can remember in my lifetime that actually the entire world is shut down i never thought it could be something so powerful that would shut down entire world where people are not going out of their houses at all. I am sure this is how it must have been back when we had uh, World War One, World War Two, and other wars that that have happened since. So I can really appreciate what people had gone through. You must have heard stories from your grandparents, great grandparents, if you were lucky enough to to have them that long. So, um, and it's, it's, we don't know what to expect. We don't know how to behave. We don't know how long this is going to be. It's enough to drive you crazy if you haven't gone already. <laughs> I am, uh, I can totally understand. I'm feeling it. I have no idea when I'm going to be reunited with my family. It's already been 60 days, two months. And, but thanks to technology, we are able to, stay connected and I can see them. I can enjoy uh, the small um, things that we take for granted, the laughter, seeing their face, seeing their smile. So I pray every day and I'm so grateful, express my gratitude for technology. 25 years ago when I was about to get married, we, uh, my husband was in India and I was in the States and it was so expensive making a phone call. We really had to plan. It was like three to five dollars a minute to talk and we'll talk for like a minute or or two, three minutes maximum and really hurry. So it kind of reminds me back of, of that time. But thankfully, due to technology, everything is free and we can talk for hours if we wanted to. Haven't really gone beyond an hour yet. But what I wanted to start off with day one was to talk about how to manage your fear and anxiety and maybe even depression for some of us. It's getting to be a little bit warmer in India right now. So you can see even though I have the fan and the AC going on, I'm still really, really um, hot. And you might be able to see my uh, sweat. So I apologize for that. But today what I wanted to talk about was how to manage fear, anxiety, and depression. These are such uncertain times that we don't know how to, how to handle ourselves. And 
I just wanted to share a few of meditation that I'm doing on a daily basis that's really helping me manage my fear and anxiety and, and not knowing what's going to happen when and just trying to maintain my calmness, my spirit up. So I want to start this um, short meditation to really help you release some of that anxiety and fear and and so we'll get started. So if you could just close your eyes and take a few deep breaths, a few deep grounding breaths. Inhale fresh energy, fresh prana, and exhale any frustration, any um, tightness, anything that you're having, just exhale all of that out. Keep your eyes closed if you're comfortable. This is a safe environment for you. You can, you're safe in your own home, in your own room, in your sacred space. Just try to lean in in the seat that you're sitting on and just relax. Take another few deep cleansing breaths and just let yourself relax. Let your arms, your shoulders, your hands relax, your throat, your chest, your stomach. As you go down, relax your legs, your ankles, your feet. Just sink into wherever you're sitting, into the seat, and just relax. Now, as you take in the next inhale, just see where you have a little tightness in your body. See where it is. Is it in your throat? Is it in your chest? Is it in your navel area? Is it in your stomach? Is it in your legs or arms? Maybe even your head, your face? Just see where it is. And sometimes what, it, what happens is when you identify where it is, it might move into a different location. So just breathe into that and breathe in and focus with your attention of wherever that discomfort or that pain or that tightness is and send your breath over there. Breathe in again. Focus on that area of tightness or the pain or that uneasy feeling or the feeling that you just can't describe. Relax, and with the exhale, just let it out. Let's do that one more time. And see if, it, if that area has subsided or if you have a new location, a new place where you have that uneasiness, uncomfortable feeling. And just let go. And just tell yourself, all is well. You are safe. You're not alone. Everything's going to be all right. Taking another breath. And if you have any other locations which you're having some uneasiness or tightness, just continue this process. Take it in another deep breath. Focus on that area and send the breath over there. And if you want, you can exhale a little bit harder and just let all of that out. You can also put your hand wherever that area is. You can put your hand where your heart is. And just let your heart know everything is okay. You're fine, you're well taken care of, you're safe. Take another few deep cleansing breaths. And then you can open your eyes when you feel comfortable. This is a quick meditation that you can do anywhere, anywhere you start feeling you getting an anxiety attack or a panic attack. Just breathe in. Just stop wherever you are 
and just breathe in. You don't have to close your eyes if you're outside or among other people, but you can just breathe in, focus on that area of tightness or uncomfortableness you're having and just send the breath there. Put your hand over your heart. Just let yourself know that you are safe, you are sound, everything's going to be okay. Now, in these times when we can't really plan anything, we don't know what things are going to happen, I suggest that you focus on things that you can control. One thing you can control is how you schedule your day. Find out when is your most productive time of the day and do your most focused kind of work at that time. Schedule in some fun time, schedule in some TV time, schedule in some self-care time. This is a time to really focus on self-care and self-care means doing those activities that restore you. And it's not one, one of exercises that you need to do, it's actually a practice which you do every day. What we just did was a form of a self-care restorative activity. So just find out what it is that you really like to do and then do that. You can be in control of what kind of food you're putting into your body. The kind of food that you put into your body will also determine how often you're having those anxiety attacks. So if you eat a full balanced meal, and exercise, those two things are really going to help you manage your anxiety and fear. So focus on what you can control. Let go of the things we can't. This is the perfect time to let go of things that are not in our control. Just let it go and focus on what you can control. You're safe, you're sound, you're in your home, and you are well. So join me tomorrow for another, for day two, for another um, tips and suggestions. And be sure to let me know what you're doing that's really helping you that can, uh, that can be another tool for someone else to practice as well. See you tomorrow. Thank you.